Good morning, everyone. So, uh, today I want to talk about... I don't want to get political when I talk about this. I really don't want to talk about politics on my channel. But it might be ever so slightly political. But keep in mind, I'm saying this all objectively, and I'm not trying to point fingers and whatever. Okay? All right. So I want to discuss, like... I want to discuss positivity in the economy. How do those two things relate? Well, we'll, we'll get to that. So, obviously the last few years... Um, have been pretty difficult in the world and for Americans, right? COVID and economic uh, hardship, people losing their jobs, now the stock market downturn, all that kind of stuff, right? So it's been a tough time for people. Um, uh, I wanted to pull a wheelie there so bad, but anyway. <laughs> it's been a tough time for people. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I hate to say it, but it's not getting better soon, soon, anyway. You know, we're, we're still, we're still flat or trending down, right? We're not trending up yet. And, and it's interesting because obviously gas is high and inflation in general is super high. And most people, right? Most people who are anywhere near paycheck to paycheck, or at least were, say, 2019, you know, before all this stuff, are now, you know, negative, right? Like, they, they, they don't have enough money. Because if you were paycheck to paycheck before, I mean, you're, you're, you're 10, 20 percent in the red now. And that's, that's tough, right? That's really bad. So, you know, it, it's easy to get really disgruntled. And that's if you kept your job. But it's easy to get disgruntled and, and frustrated by that and, and give up and stuff like that. Um, and it's easy for me to say, sitting on my freaking high horse here, my high steel horse here. Um, you know, because I, I fortunately didn't lose my job and haven't been without income. Although I do have a friend who actually just lost her job recently. So it hits, it hits a little bit close to home in that sense. Um, and the first thing is that I would say, this is such a basic cliche thing, but, you know, these are the times where you, these are the time, these are the, these times are the reason you have a savings account, okay? You got to save in the good times to prepare for the bad. So in, in 2016, or, or we should say maybe like 20 whatever, 14 through 2019, right, when the economy really kind of picked up steam, those are the times as best as you could, and I, and I get it's tough, right, it's so hard, but best you can to save a little bit of money. And, um, you know, that's important because you need to, uh, you know, you, you got to have a rainy day fund for times like this. But, you know what, I'm not here to lecture you, so if you didn't save money and you did lose your job and the economy is what it is right now, that's not going to help you, right? So, so, like, what can you do? Well, first of all, um, you know, it's, it's so important to me, uh, especially as a younger guy, right? Like, I don't want to fall into the, to the, the boomer trap of the world's going to hell in a handbasket. And it's like, listen, are there things that are objectively worse about the world now than they were before? I mean, probably, yeah, right? Oh, you sucker. Probably, yes. But, like, there are also things that are way better. Um, you know, and then, and then, like, everyone... And, I, and this is where I was getting dangerously political, but, oh, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it, it administration-related economic downturn, right? And you blame blaming Biden, blaming Trump or something, blaming Obama, whatever, right? And it's like, okay, yeah, is there some truth to all that and, and whatever? Sure, I'm not an economist. I'm not a freaking political science uh, uh, major, whatever, right? So I'm not going to comment on that. But guess what? Here, here, here's the reality, right? If you voted, if you voted... And, and, you know, you said your piece and, and uh, you know, did what you could do. And the, and the politicians you feel as though should be in, sh shouldn't be in office are in office. Well, well, guess what? I mean, it sucks, right? Okay. And, and there's nothing else you can do about it. So just give it up and accept the fact that, you know, you don't, your guy's not in there. And, uh, you know, yeah, you might be suffering. Okay, arguably you're suffering because of that person. Fine. And I get that. That's annoying. But, but make the best of it because you can't change it. I mean, I, n nobody, nobody here has the power to ma wave a magic wand and, you know, change the politician that's in office, right, or in, in, any, in any held seat. So you got you to gotta stay positive in that sense. And, okay, the economy is what it is. It, it is what it is for whatever reasons caused it. We can debate that till the freaking sun, you know, sun up to sundown. But uh, I'm, not, I'm less worried about that. I, I voted a certain way. I'm confident in the way I voted. And, uh, you know, that is what it is. And I'll live with that decision one way or another. And, uh, you know, as far as, like, the actual day-to-day -day life, my day-to-day -day life, I need to worry about... Um, I need to worry about... <clears throat>
like you know what I can do to help myself and my community around me not not burdening my mind with useless um, you know brain power on being pissed off at a politician who will never know my name doesn't care about me and you know is uh, maybe not a sound mind to begin with right um, so it's just one of those things where it's like I ha- you have to you have to I think when you're younger like older teens early 20s you want to change the world right you're super highly motivated and that's great and you want to make a difference and you, you know you really wow, that's why a lot of people protest and get into politics right because it really is like they're passionate about it and I can appreciate that but you gotta and you shouldn't like lose you shouldn't become apathetic to it but I think as you get older you realize you know what I can't change the world, or right? I can't change everything. But what I can do is like change my neighbor's life. I can change my fa- own family's life. I can change my community's life. You know, in a small way, right? You're not like a, you know, magician, but you, there are things you can do, and um, you know, that's like super important because changing those lives, you know, one one person at a time, um, that's how you actually change the world, right? You need you need good quality people in your in your country and your on your planet you know, to do positive things for each other and for their communities. And that's how things change. So, so I don't know, don't get so caught up in like, I don't know. And I actually like listening to some political commentary, but like, don't, don't, don't get on Facebook and listen to freaking, you know, Rachel Maddow or Ben Shapiro or whatever your, whatever your polarized, uh, or, you know, whatever your, your side's uh, political commentator of choice is, um, you know, don't, don't just log into them and listen to every word they say and like, you know, let that overly consume your life because you're you're doing yourself a disservice, um, and it's just it's gonna it's gonna affect your mental health in the long run, frankly too. But uh, anyway, just a short little video. I'm pulling up to where I need to be here, riding through beautiful Saratoga Springs, New York, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. God bless America. See you on the next one.